Next thing is dealing with difficult customers. So people are stressed and can misunderstand things. So it's quite common that you get angry customers. IT problems never happen at an ideal time. They always happen when you most need your laptop or computer. Um, and so people are really frustrated in terms of they can't do what they need to do. And sometimes they can take it out on you. So there are certain ways you can deal with these customers. The first one's always be calm. You don't need to get angry because if you get angry, it will just make them more angry and you'll escalate the situation and make it worse than it should be. So always remain calm, uh, which is easier said than done sometimes because the person can be absolutely screaming at you, um, but do your best to stay as calm as you can. If they are abusive, if they're swearing at you, if they're getting really angry, if they're screaming at you, then you need to try to defuse the situation. Apologize for mistakes that uh, you or your company have done, but don't apologize for things that are not your fault. Okay. Um, if they continue to be abusive, you can refuse to serve them. Okay. So you can say, "Look, I'm I'm not talking to you right now. You're you're too uh, too bu too abusive. Um, I'm happy to serve you when you come back later, but for right now, you need to leave." Okay. Um, if it's an internal customer, you can then explain what happened to their manager. Um, so this behavior is not okay. It needs to be fixed. So by talking to their manager. Um, you know, they can have a word to their employee and, and hopefully get the message through that it's not okay to abuse IT staff, okay? Um, obviously, you can't do that for an external customer. However, in extreme circumstances where the person refuses to leave or, or your attempts to refuse to serve them have escalated the situation even more, you may need to call uh, the building security or, in worst cases, even the police. If customers are concerned about the time something is taking, for example, I need it done right now, okay, you need to explain to them a few things. Firstly, if a job is a high priority for the business, then do your best to complete it ASAP. So if it's a really massive, important thing, um, then you might need to actually drop everything and do it. Um, this is generally not the norm. Um, it doesn't matter how much customers try to explain that everything is super high important. Um, but if you determine something is actually really high important, then you may need to drop everything and throw everything you have at this job. However, if the job is not a high priority for the business, you need to explain that you have other jobs in the queue that are higher priority and that you'll get to this job in due course. So if someone comes in with a laptop that's broken and said, look, this has got to be fixed immediately, I need my laptop to work, da 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 uh, one laptop is not necessarily high priority in the whole raft of things that you have to do for the day. So as much as it is a high priority for them and they can't work without it, uh, it is not a high priority for you. And so they need to understand that there are more important jobs than the one that they have just brought to you. To offset that, if you have a loan device available, then uh, offer that to them um, so the worker is not disadvantaged. Uh, the biggest cause of frustration and of dis difficult customers is that they cannot do what they need to do. And so if their device is out of action, then giving them a loaner, even if it's a, a crappier device, okay, they may not be happy with that, but at least they can do their work and they will go away um, and deal with that.